Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of BS for Build. In today's episode, Eric and I are gonna start construction on the front strut towers. This is gonna be really fun. It's one of the hardest things we've ever built because it has to be exactly symmetrical or else my car is gonna drive in very, very, very large circles. But I think we're gonna do great. Stay tuned. Before we get started today, I want to take a second out to thank our sponsor. This episode is proudly sponsored by Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile is a new wireless service provider. They're a company that's taking a new spin on wireless service. They hooked me up with a SIM card, I got my phone hooked up on the service, and they just said, you know, try it out for a few days and let people know what you think. Right off the bat, I was super surprised with how good the coverage was. Um, at home, I, I gained an extra bar from my previous big name mobile wireless company. I got better coverage and better service right off the bat. So I was very impressed by that. And then the other thing that I was super impressed was the pricing. Right now I pay between 85 and 90 bucks a month for my cell service to get the same cell service with Mint, I'd be spending $25 a month. So that's a huge price gap. The other thing that I really like about Mint is they have a small plan that really helps people that don't use a ton of data. The way that they go about it is they have these data plan that you, you basically pay for the amount of data that you want and all the talk and text is 100% free so that's that's really cool if you're not a huge data user your plan is going to start at $15 a month so for somebody that's like my parents where they're mainly just using the phone or texting us kids that's a really really good way to go about it and you save a lot of money another thing I really like about it is they have a seven-day money-back guarantee so if for any reason you're not satisfied they got you covered there to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and free shipping on your Mint Mobile SIM card, head over to mintmobile.com slash build. I'll put it in the description. I'll put it on the screen right here. Or you can just go to mintmobile.com and enter the code build. Again, that's mintmobile.com slash build. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month and get free shipping on your SIM card. And there's a seven day 100% satisfaction guarantee. You got nothing to lose. Head over there now. Just pause the video, go do that. We'll be here as soon as you get back. And, and when you come back, we're gonna be starting to work because we're working right, right, right now. So getting started, you probably saw Eric popped out our struts from our front struts from the front subframe. We got rid of those. Uh, we test fit our uh, D2 racing airbags. Those uh, fit up well. They actually have a ton of different levels of adjustability, so that's going to be really great. And then we uh, pulled the front subframe and replaced it with our jig that we built. This is a negative jig that we built for the strut towers. Uh, we know we want the strut towers to be a little bit lower than this, so we're planning on shrinking this down. But this is our starting point. So now what Eric and I are doing is we're going to be marking up and measuring everything to make sure that our jig is all square with the frame and that we don't kind of start off in a bad way. All right, Eric and I did some measurement left to right and everything like that. Everything is matching up in all the relative points that we have with these struts. So we do believe that they are still um, in the right spot that we left them. So the jig didn't flex or bend or, or change or anything while it was on the shelf. Next step, we're gonna go ahead and grab those 240Z fenders, bring them on over, test fit them on the strut tower. We're expecting this, these struts uh, tower emulators to be very, very high on the fender, and we're expecting we're gonna to wanna to cut them down. What, what test fitting the fender is gonna tell us is probably just a matter of how much. I accidentally forgot to film when we brought the fender over, but the fender clears actually. It fits over this thing by about three quarters of an inch. Uh, it gives us three quarters of an inch of breathing room. So we're gonna bring it down one inch. Um, and yes, we know since this is in an angle, when we bring it down, um, it's actually gonna move this thing out a little bit. Uh, but when you bring it down one inch, it's only like 0.175 uh, of, a, of an inch that is bringing it out. So we'll just adjust for that when we uh, build the plates, the mounting plates later on. So we're gonna go ahead and cut one inch out of these things and weld them back up. All right, we cut our strut tower emulator jig thing down one inch and re-welded it back in. 
on both sides. So uh, then once we test with the fender, we definitely have enough room to play. So the game plan now is we're going to try and kind of design what a bar is going to look like that comes off of the A-pillar mount right here. It's going to come out and then it's going to loop around this area right here and then come down to the frame rail. So this is going to be more of Eric and I looking at a lot of things, maybe measuring some things, and then uh, we'll get to bending. We'll bend one of these things out and try and test fit it. So this is our first uh, bend attempt on a piece that goes from the A-pillar out around the strut tower and down. And we, um, we accidentally cut this side too short. Um, well, we made this side too short. And that did not give us enough room to cope this tube to meet up with the A-pillar. And then uh, we were trying some stuff and we just went full send on this bend. And we sent this piece way inboard and you can see that it like is now three inches off. So uh, as we had it before, it actually is gonna come back down in more of a 45 and then, or this will be like more of a 45 and meet up down there on the frame rail close to that line rather than way over here where it is right now. So this was a good test piece. We learned a lot. We're gonna throw it in the garbage. Well, not really. I mean, we'll throw it in the scrap pile and then we'll grab a fresh piece and make a good, good bend. Just a good bend. We've got our first tube bent and cut to length, so we still need to cope the backside. So that's gonna shift this backwards about an inch and a half or so. Uh, but this, this is the look for the first tube. It comes out, does about a 45, and then a 90 down to the frame rail. The next tube will come off of here, back over to this cross brace right here. Then we'll do kind of a closing tube right here, build plate in, and that's where that goes. So it's coming along very, very nicely. We're gonna go ahead and cope this side. All right, we coped our, uh, well, the first bar of our strut tower. And that way when it slides in to meet up with the A-pillar right there, it connects right up like that. And then, uh, yeah, slides, slides around and goes down to there. That's done. We're not gonna tack it in quite yet because we wanna make another one that's a mirrored copy of it. So we're gonna keep it out so we can measure the lengths and make that mirrored copy right now. All right, we got the second tube cut and notched and bent and everything, and it is an exact mirror image of this other one over here. Uh, we did have to cope it twice to get it that way, but we got it that way, I'm super stoked. So Eric's gonna go ahead and tack these in here, and then I'll show you the finished product. Well, we did it, we pulled it off. There was a point there earlier today when we thought that we weren't gonna be able to make tight enough bends to even pull this off at all. Um, but I'm super happy to say that we got this thing in here exactly how I wanted it, exactly how I've envisioned it the whole time. And I know I've said this a million times, but basically one more bar comes back into that bar that I just did across. And then we build like a cool looking bent bar out here. Then we fill this area with a plate that has this pattern cut out of the center and that's exactly where it goes. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna machine out um, some sort of a strut. I'm thinking about machining out a camber plate for the actual strut bolts, for the three strut bolts, so we could have like three lines and you could move the strut inboard if you wanted to. I don't know, normally a camber plate doesn't work like that. It has the strut bolts here and then 
you move within the top hat. That's just something I've been thinking about. I did see all your guys' comments about cleaning these things up. Um, honestly, they're so dirty already, they're gonna need a thorough cleaning anyways. Um, so clean them, cover them, whatever. I'll, I'll, keep, I'll start to keep them more covered, but I just like seeing them. That's the honest truth. And they need to be fully cleaned anyways, so it's not really gonna change much. Um, we definitely won't forget to do that. So, yeah, long day's work, but man, this came out so, so nice. All right guys, that's a wrap on this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for the subscribing and the liking of this video ahead of time. And uh, I may see you tomorrow. If I can find a camping spot, I'm taking Chelsea camping. If I can't find a camping spot, I'm gonna be in here. We got the new seats delivered. I wanna test fit them, maybe even build some seat brackets. Show my boy TJ how it's done. I don't know, I don't know. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Peace! <laughs>